Hello and welcome to another Excel at the Office video. Um, my name's Adrian and in this video I'm going to show you how to um, extract data from an external website source and put it in Excel uh, automatically. So forget the days of um, uh, typing out or copying individual data points, Excel can go and grab that data for you and put it in a table. So at the moment um, there's a lot in the news about nurses striking and the Royal College of Nursing, the Nurses Union says uh, that's all about pay. Um, so what I'm uh, showing you today is how to go and get the pay information from the uh, RCN website and also I'm doing it for the uh, a website called nurses.co.uk that gives the latest information on pay. So there's two different sources there. So in your um, you may find in a website uh, some interesting information. So, for example, I've been interested in finding out, well, okay, all this strike action is about pay. How much um, is the pay for nurses? And when you look at nurses.co.uk for the uh, pay scale bands for this financial year, uh, April 2022 to March 2023, um, and knowing that newly qualified nurses, so qualified nurses, start at band five. So at the moment, uh, band five, it's between 27,000. And then after uh, seven, six or seven years in, that goes up to 33,000. So it increases 6,000 over uh, six years. Um, that, uh, According to the King's Fund, um, between 40 and 50% of nurses are in the band five. Um, other... Band six is when nurses can go on to different specialisms. Um, so uh, between 30 and 40% of nurses are in different specialisms. Band seven is in uh, a supervisory role. Um, and band seven goes up to uh, 47 and a half thousand currently. And then band eight uh, and beyond is to different matron levels and then band nine is the director uh, director level of nursing um, so the union nursing union is requesting 19% uh, so we have uh, inflation plus 5% on all pay bands so we'll use that figure to show what um, is being asked for compare what the data is now uh, and so on but to get the uh, unhelpfully you can't really copy and paste this data in Excel so oftentimes it's helpful to go get the data in Excel so let's show you how to do that so the first thing we're going to do once you go to the website that you're interested in you simply uh, right click and copy the URL and then what we're going to do in Excel is go to the um, data tab um, I'll get, I've got the data in here but I'm going to do this again um, and in the get and transform data section of the ribbon we're going to choose from web and all you so basic is straightforward enough all you do is control and paste uh, control V sorry so that pastes the URL uh, click OK what that's going to do is bring up a a pop-up box of different tables that you might want to um, gather so just get the one that looks about right um, so table zero has the uh, from bands one to six and table one has band seven to nine uh, so what I'll probably do is um, gather you can only select uh, one at a time so I'm going to do zero um, so you'll need to do this twice and I'm going to load the data and you'll see it's put it nicely in a tape formatted table for me so then if you replicate that and go get the um, uh, data for the other table you can simply copy and paste it uh, below as I've done um, in my 2022 tab here so I've gone and got both sets of data pasted them together uh, to give these um, bands by years of experience and pay 
And what will come up is this queries and connections thing. Uh, you can just close that because it's, it's done it all correctly. Um, so if I just check back, make sure it looks all right, look at the website. So you can see there's actually two separate tables on this website by the gap in between. And yeah, that's got the data for me. So that's a quick way of getting 2022 figures. And now just for comparison, um, obviously it's quite a contentious issue, so it's quite useful to see the context of how pay has progressed. Um, and I found a page on the Royal College of Nursing's site to show pay scales for previous years. And um, but unhelpfully, that does it by um, it's arranged the bands into columns. Um, but in any case, we'll go and grab this data just as another example of how to get data from the web into your Excel uh, document. So I'm going to copy this URL and go back to my Excel and I'm going to um, again go to data. It's, uh, you can use the drop down uh, menu but I, I prefer that there's a quick hyperlink here to, to get it from the web. Again I'm going to control V to copy my um, URL there. And wait for it to load. And although it wasn't apparent on the website, there's a bunch of different tables. So I need to select the one uh, that's correct. So this is the hourly rate table, um, but I'm interested in the salary, which I think is uh, table zero. Yeah, band five starts uh, started at twenty one and a half thousand. So I'm going to just load that. And again, that's put it all here for me. So that's how to get um, data from the web. And now we're going to just do some quick analysis of this data, just to see some descriptives and put it in context of what's being asked for and what the strikes are all about, given, uh, given they're all about pay. So I'm going to um, delete these two tabs because I've already gone and gathered the 2015 and 2022 salaries. Uh, so in my, what I've done is copied and pasted the data into a more nicely formatted summary um, table whereby I've put the band on the left. And again, because most nurses are in either the bottom rung of the ladder, if you like, band five for a newly qualified nurse, specialist, they're a specialist in band six or a supervisor. Uh, in band seven. So I'm focusing on these three bands because that's where the majority of nurses reside. Um, I've put the year's service as well as a column. And uh, so 2015 is relevant uh, because that's where, um, if you track it through, so if I was a nurse that joined in 2015, I would have started on 21,692. And although the band is now uh, for the first year of service is 27,000. Um, I will have progressed through my year's service, assuming I've not been promoted as a specialist nurse or uh, and as such. So I would have gone through those bands. So now I will be uh, paid after that time at the top of the band, which is 33,000. If you want to calculate that change um, as an increase in terms of the percentage change, um, here's a handy calculation. So uh, when you want to calculate the percent change between one number and another, it is simply you press equals, um, open a bracket sign, and you're going to do the last number in the change uh, minus the first number, so you're in the brackets, you're determining the gap, the difference, and then you simply do divided by the original number again. So you're determining what that difference was as a percent, as a proportion of the original number. As a default, uh, that will give you uh, a decimal, but if I change that to a percent, uh, so in 2015, the salary for a newly qualified nurse was quite low, um, but over time uh, you can progress 
to the top of the band and end up with 52% if, if more pay annual salary uh, than I started on had a, I started in 2015 um, and the nine I've already applied the 19% that is being requested for uh, 2023 to the 2022 numbers so you'll see to calculate and project what percentage something will be in the future um, all you do is um, do the number you just simply type equals uh, this number times and I'm going to do 1.19 so 1 is 100% so clearly 0.19 is 19% so I'm timesing that effectively by 119% to determine what a 19% increase looks like so that's a simple way of doing that um, another interesting uh, descriptive you can do is look at the difference between uh, salaries of the uh, between the bands because if everybody has a 19% pay rise from a newly qualified nurse that equates to um, around £5,000 uh, right up to whereas for a grade the top of a grade band 7 sorry will be in order of around £9,000 so when you've got a a, st a flat percentage that's quite a regressive um, approach to salary increases because it increases the gap between those who earn more and those who earn less I mean an exaggerated version would be to see what 19% would look like at the much higher bands so 19% of uh, 95,000 or so for a director level will be uh, well over uh, that'd be around seventeen or eighteen thousand. So the the pay scales will stretch. I, I'm more of a fan of a tapered um, approach where you you might have a higher percentage for those that are lower on the pay scale, and then a, a reduced percentage uh, tapering as you go up, um, so that everybody gets a, a what seems to be a fair, but probably from the employer's side might be a affordable pay rise but I don't know what do you think about that I've always thought just flat uh, percentage pay rises for all grades is a bit of a lazy and regressive way of doing things but in any case I'm going to just show you some how to do some quick descriptive statistics over here so uh, and I'm going to again focus on where the majority of nurses are from bands five to seven so in 2015 the gap between the 21692 and the 40, uh, 41,000 or so. Uh, so you simply uh, type equals as for any formula. The big number minus the small number. So the gap in salary, uh, or if you want to look at it a different way, the opportunity if you wanted to progress your career was to be able to earn 19,000 more. We don't need to type out that formula again because each uh, I've got three columns here and the data I'm referring to is three columns wide so I can select that and simply drag it across um, so by 2022 uh, the gap had increased very slightly to twenty and a half thousand pound because mainly because the starting salary grew at a much uh, faster rate uh, than the uh, salary of the higher earners. So there had been several years of more progressive um, salary adjustments there because 21 did, does seem on the face of it to be ridiculously low uh, starting point for a fully qualified new nurse. And then what's being requested if everyone has a 19% uh, pay increase uh, for 2023 uh, then I was about to say next year then, but that's this year now. I'm still getting the hang of this uh, turning of the uh, new year and such. So the gap will increase just within this pay scale uh, to around four by 4,000. So a 19% increase in at the top of grade 7 is worth 4,000 more than a 19% increase uh, in 
a bottom of band 5. So that's a kind of dem a useful demonstration of descriptive statistics to see how you can um, uh, account for whether pay increases and others are progressive or um, regressive and what effect that may have on your um, budgets and salaries and such but it's, it's just a general in piece, interest piece as well given it's uh, occupying the news at the moment so what are your thoughts on that is that a, a reasonable uh, request how much do you think uh, nurses should earn does that look about right that pay scale between 32 and 39 for um, uh, the baseband nurse and they're 40 to 48 for when nurses go into a specialism which is uh, a large proportion of nurses um, and has has that progressed at a fair rate because uh, I, I, I find it interesting when you see these news and not a lot of people talk about how much actually uh, nurses get paid but it's all uh, as stated on the RCN's website the point of the strikes is about pay so it's good to understand the pay figures so I hope you found that helpful as a video just looking at the nurses salary but by doing so we've explored how to get data from a website from which you only need the URL and also applied some percentages and descriptive statistics on that data as well so I hope you've found that informative let me know in the comments below what you think of this and if there's any other videos that you'd like me to explore for you and until I'll, I'll also put a blog on my excel at the office.com kind of summarizing these steps so um, until next time take care and goodbye